Hey guys, what's up? Big Dave here and I'm here and we're going to talk to you, our new coach, David Gallagher, right here. We're going to learn some stuff about him. So, David, what class are you coaching? Coaching uh, Monday through Wednesday, the 5 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. here at the CFCP. And then fr uh, Friday evenings at 5, Saturday morning community workouts. Heavy metal Friday. Yep. And Saturday morning, I heard the beats pumping uh -huh. last Saturday. Yes. You are a DJ. I am. That's awesome. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I came out of retirement uh, during the pandemic, actually about two and a half months ago. I needed something, an outlet. I've been, been about 15 years and I was just like, I'm going to go ahead and get one of these controllers that everybody's been playing around with because I need some music in my life and I think the world needs some music in their life. Hell so yeah, I agree. I'm about beats, brother. man. So. You know, it's having fun. It's so fun. when you were coaching Saturday, was that your stuff? Yeah, that was oh, mine. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's, that's so cool. I love that. When did you find CrossFit? I found CrossFit uh, summer of 2008. I was training in Krav Maga at Fearless, and one of the instructors, I'd heard about it, you know, but I didn't really, he's like, just go in there. He's like, just go, go try it out. So, you know, I went and I tried it out, got my butt kicks, and I thought it was just a one-off because I was in pretty good shape going, you know, the, the, the bro sessions at you know Gold's Gym and then Krav Maga was like my cardio and um, I kept going back thinking I was going to defeat this CrossFit thing, not understanding it was <laughs> like a, it's not to be defeated. There's you, no defeat. It just CrossFit. you just get better at it to where you can do more weight. And, CrossFit's like golf that way. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> you never really master. <laughs> but, you know, I, I did learn to pace. You know, like that there was a strategy to certain workouts. You know, that you couldn't just. I thought you just went as hard and as fast as you could until and you just would get better at doing that you know over time and you know there's you know you have to step back and scale things at times and you know get to where you're used to moving faster and, yeah you know so, so how far did you go in Krav Maga man? um so I got I've uh, been through three different systems now I've been through the American system and two different Israeli systems I've had to go through from the beginning because they all have a different way that they it's the same stuff but they're just they're very they have their beliefs on certain things um, but I was at level four uh, with the IKMF which is the most established Krav Maga and in, in the world so it's nice so level four uh, what since I don't know uh, level sure four then didn't... you go to your graduate degrees so I it's about um, just short I mean I would have been a black belt it's like if I had stayed yeah. in for another year and a half oh, two nice. years and just trained and just but it's um, it's more about just you know, being able to go home safely and yeah. then, uh, just, you know, hope I, hopefully I never have to use any of it, but yeah. it's, uh, but the training goes it, well with CrossFit. Yeah? It does. It does. It goes so tell me about that. You are at a level two right now, uh -huh. correct? That's correct. And planning on getting your level that three. That is yeah? correct. Yes. How long have you been coaching? I've been coaching since, uh, summer 2010, um, been shadowed, uh, actually, you know, Valerie, yeah. I helped her pass her test. Study for her test because she's another story, but she. So what you don't know is I went to college with Valerie. Yeah. And right. our first jobs come out coming out to the sports club. Huh? We were both personal trainers there as soon as we graduated, and she eventually became the director of aerobics, and I became the director of service in charge of all the personal training. So yeah, that's old a, school Valerie. Yeah, she uh, she used to she used to give me lots of grief about it you know and then yeah. one day she's like i'm joining the dark side and which i'm not just like I'm, yeah and i got helped her pass her level one you know just went over movements with her and then i said oh, she's off head of the pose running clinics and everything yeah. you know, valerie doing what valerie does yeah, that's she's, what she's, she's great at. She's, yeah. uh, that's awesome good. anything else we need to know what's your favorite uh cheat meal uh my favorite cheat meal uh if i'm just gonna go to something i mean waterberg is always done me right so i mean <laughs> yeah, i agree brother I um, mean, you know, peanut butter by the by the by the pound. by the spoonful. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anything else we need to know? Um. Now, just uh, be wary of any workouts of mine on Saturdays <laughs> that have running in them. But. Yeah. So this is what I love about David. He's old school. He loves music, and he can probably kick your ass. So uh, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, David. Appreciate you. Thanks, brother. guys. Rock and roll.